so the devil will hear you. Praise is who I am. Jesus, changing for, for that, for the better. 
Um, God is just doing some great things, and I'm grateful to Him for what He's been doing, what He's getting ready to do, what He's got, how He's gonna change some things up and make it even greater. I'm grateful to God for that, um, and keep on doing those great things. Um, I did want to remind you all to go and follow Miss Tracy Green with Voluptuous Woman of Pearl. Voluptuous Woman of Pearl have everything you need from the top of your head to the sole of your little bitty feet. He got, she got everything you need. BWA has a great team that will get you together from head to toe, from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. And she is like Amazon without you being an Amazon Prime member. She got it all. She got everything you need. That's Miss Tracy Green. If you have not liked, shared, and followed her already, please do, do so. Her pages, I shared her her um, her post on yesterday. She received her God Stay t-shirt on yesterday. So, if you already see that, you'll know that that's Miss Tracy um, sharing that. But you go to my God's Day page, it's on there. And she's also shared some other people um, that have worn VWA's products. You can go on there and like, share, and follow her. Please support her. Please support that business. She's a beautiful young lady that is doing some amazing things. And I love Miss Tracy. So if you see her, um, be posting about her. Please go on there and um, support what she is doing. Miss Tracy Green, <coughs> excuse me, with Voluptuous Woman of Pearl. She has everything you need from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. I mean it. I promise you I do mean it. Anyway, check out um, Tiana Smith with Star Diva Bling with T. Star Diva Bling with T. She's a paparazzi consultant. She has all kinds of things that you need. Like necklaces, earrings, bracelets, rings. She can have things for little girls as well as men. So if there's something that you need paparazzi-wise, you can check out Tiana Smith, T-E-O-N-D-A. Tiana Smith with Star Diva Bling with T. Her daughter is also a paparazzi consultant, Sierra Smith, C-I-E-R-R-A. Sierra Smith is with C Bling, C E E Bling. Please like, share, and follow her as well. Um, also, check out another paparazzi consultant at Warner Braxton Morgan. She went live last night. You can go back and watch the replay from last night on a Warner Braxton Morgan with Heavenly Anointed Jewels for $5. Please like, share, and follow her page as well. God say, how are you? How are you? It was good to see you the other day. Um, but. Please like, share, and follow her as well. These lovely young ladies, they are doing some beautiful things. You know, if I tell you about them, they are doing some good stuff. Please like, share, and follow them. Um, so that's the one of Braxton Morgan with Heavenly Anointed Jewels for $5. Please go and follow um, Emerium Smith. E-M-E-R-I-O-U-M Smith with the Duck Off. The Duck Off is a place where you can go and relax, get your mind together, get, meditate, pray. Just, just get away from some things and get yourself together and then um but she has some great things going on over there also she has bounce houses for everybody she has um the, the um cotton candy machine she has a lot of stuff that you can um, be a part of but you can just let her know what you need she got it you want to have a birthday party at her location you can all you have to do is get in contact with her and i believe her number is 214-309-879-93 214 309-8799 also is on her page she also does kick a pickles shirts kick a pickles and the kick a pickles are like they kool-aid pickles but if she said if it doesn't have her signature cut and her signature seasoning it is not hers so please go and like share and follow her god say please like share and follow her on um on facebook and she has a business page shirts kick a pickles and you can see what what flavors go and see what flavor she has and you also can go and see what all she offers and also if i'm not mistaken you can you can earn money by selling the, the pickles for her or being a part of that business who don't want to earn extra money you should want to earn extra money extra cash there's nothing wrong with that contact you marion smith with cheryl's kick a pickles along with the duck off the duck off is is both of her so let her know she has posted about them. If you find her name, E. Marion Smith, I will tag her in this video like I've been doing. And you can click on her name and it will show everything that she does. Please like, share, and follow her. Also, don't forget to, share, uh, to like, share, and follow Michelle Ivy with Ivy Credit Repair. Ivy Credit Repair does credit repair, legal documents, um, notary, taxes, all that kind of stuff. You can go to her page. She also has a website, but she she's on Facebook ivycreditrepair.com it's her website and her business page on Facebook is Ivy Credit Repair 
please like, share, and follow her. I will tag her in here as I've, everybody else that I've talked about already. I will tag them in here and all you have to do is click on their name and it's gonna take you to what you need to know, what you need to see. So please don't forget to check, check them out. These lovely people are doing some beautiful things. Um, Michelle Ivy also has an online beauty, um, an online jewelry store, which is ivybeautytreasures.com. So please go to her website, ivybeautytreasures.com, and you can see what kind of jewelry she has as well. And if you want to know what services, if I didn't name the services that she has, um, as far as legal documents, notary, and all these things you can do virtually. So can't miss out on that. Contact her. You can look at the reviews that she has on her page on her website and you can see the services that she has the services that you use let her know that i sent you you can receive a 10 percent di discount or 10 percent off of the services that you receive from her and you by using my promo code which is credit zero five a is an apple eight one again the promo code is credit zero five a is an apple eight one please like share and follow her as well she is doing some great things and i love what she's been doing and like i said she has clients from all over even over over internationally she does she still uh so you can see the reviews that she has you can see what kind of services she provides so please check out Mich michelle ivy with ivy credit repair along with ivybeautytreasures.com all right and check out my beautiful niece takasha brown olale with fortress boutique fortress boutique is a online boutique store that has all kinds of beautiful things for ladies um Please support her. She models her own stuff. Um, and you can see what she has. And it's so pretty. So cute. Um, and if you can't use it, buy it for your daughter. Buy it for your auntie, your, your mama, your grandma, whatever. But it's beautiful stuff that you need in your closet. You got an event coming up. Even if you don't have an event, you just like it. You just want to have it. Order it. Get it from her. Fortress Boutique. She's also, if you're on Instagram, she's also on Instagram. Fortress Boutique. F-O-R-T-R-E-S-S. -S B-O-U-T-I-Q. And her website is Fortress Boutique, F-O-R-T-R-E-S-S, B-O-U-T-I-Q, dot Big Cartel, B-I-G-C-A-R-T-E-L.com. Please like, share, and follow. If you go to her page, of course, I'm going to tag her in this video. But if you go to her page, like, share, and follow her page, you will see all the things when she posts. You can see the things that she has. She'll let you know if it's available, what size it's in. You can get in contact with her, and she'll let you know what she has. But go to her website. Check out her website. I promise you won't be disappointed with the products that she has on the website. Again, that's Fortress Boutique. That's Takasha Brown, all the label Fortress Boutique. Please like, share, and follow her as well. Please don't forget to follow the New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church page. Wow. Wow. He came all the way across in front of all them cars. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Follow um, the New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church page. We have a lot of things that's, co that's coming up and going on, as always. Um, but if you're already like sharing and follow, following us, you won't miss out on that. For those that are unity, unity, you know who you are. That's our women's ministry at New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. We do have a meeting tonight at 7 o'clock. So if you go back and listen to this, this uh, replay, this broadcast, this episode, please know that we have a meeting tonight at 7 o'clock at the New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. I just want to make sure everybody is aware. I will send out a text in a little bit to remind you that there is a meeting tonight at 7 o'clock at the church. All right, so with that being said, I do want you all to go with like, share, and follow the page. There's a lot of stuff, like I said, going on. You don't want to miss out. If you're already like, sharing, and following, you won't miss out on what's going on. Even pictures of prior years or prior um, events that we have done and some new stuff that's getting ready to happen, all these things coming all into one. Please don't forget about that. Like, share, and follow the new Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church where the great, amazing, wonderful pastor is Bishop Dwight Collins. With that being said, this Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m., well, first of all, I will invite y'all to Sunday morning worship. Sunday morning worship starts at 11 o'clock a.m. We will have breakfast this Sunday morning, uh, followed by Sunday school at 9.30 a.m., and then we will go into our Sunday morning worship at 11 o'clock a.m. Please come on out, worship with us. We would love to have you to be a part of what we've been doing. We've been having some church. We've been loving, just keep on praising and loving the Lord just as much as we've been doing. Also, um, at 3 o'clock p.m. is our fifth year church anniversary. Everybody want to call right now. <laughs> this is our fifth year church anniversary. Yay! Our fifth year church anniversary, we, we, of course, like everybody else, we have trials and tribulations, ups and downs. 
and it, you know, devil gets busy and all that other good, good, all that crazy stuff, but it's all good. But we're celebrating five years of being New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, and we're excited about it. So with that, we are uh, celebrating this Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m. Our guest is God's Hospital Deliverance holding this church, Bishop Herbert Smith, um, and Lady Kathy Smith, along with the Greater New Mount Horb Church. That's Pastor Roosevelt Johnson and Lady Ramika Johnson. So please come on out. Be a part of this event. We would love to have you. Dinner will be served right after 3 o'clock service. So come on out. Get spiritually fed and then get physically fed. You, I promise you won't be disappointed with the services that we have. Please come on out. Be a part of that. 3 o'clock p.m. this Sunday. We would love to have you. Um, on So I please go like the page. All that information is going to be on the page. I will reshare all this information today so that you will be aware. Put it on your calendar so you will not forget. Also, don't forget to follow the Faith Fellowship of Churches page. Faith Fellowship of Churches is a new fellowship that we started up last year. Um, the president, founder and president is Bishop Herbert Smith for God's Hospital Deliverance Holiness Church. Please like, share, and follow that page. You can see previous um, videos that we have done, previous uh, services that we have done. You can also see pictures and all kind of good stuff. So if you like sharing and following, every time we do something, every, th every time something is going on, you'll be aware because you're already liking the page. Like, hey, you'll already be aware of what's going on. Okay, so <laughs> please go and like, share, and follow that page as well. Don't forget to go like the God's Day page. God's Day got a lot of stuff. I promise y'all, if you already following the page, you're going to be aware of what's going on, of some stuff I've been working on behind the scenes find this other earring in a minute some other stuff that i've been working on behind the scenes that you don't want to miss out on because you already following the god's day page you already know that we have a podcast if you don't know now you know please go to the podcast download like share and follow leave your comments please leave your reviews here for those that are on the podcast please go to facebook find us in the search bar you can type in god's day we will pop up you will see my portrait you will see the god's day logo Whatever the case may be, you're able to add information or to inbox us if you want to be a guest. You have some questions, you got a topic, all those good things. Oh, I can't wait to tell y'all what I've been working on. I just can't wait. It's going. I'm so excited about it. I just can't. I just can't wait. I got two. I got some. Yeah, I got some stuff. I can't wait to tell y'all about. But anyway, go like, share, and follow the page. You're gonna know what's going on once everything is up and and, and going like I want it to go. You already know what it is. Um, but I want to make sure that it's good before I put it out there on what it is because you know folks be trying to stop you and block you and all that other kind of stuff so just know it's something exciting and some stuff that's I ain't gonna say no that like it's just one thing it's multiple okay so just be patient and work with me but, but uh, please like share and follow the page um, and you want you won't miss out on what's going on also you that's a great place where you can go and network with other people because there are other businesses that are on there also church services that are on there if you want your church service to be announced or whatever send it to me um you can email me guys a one at gmail.com again i mean gmail <laughs> yeah gmail.com i'm sorry you can go to guys a one at gmail.com and email me and you could tell me, hey, this is my church service. Could you announce it? This is my event. Could you announce it? Could you post it? Or whatever the case may be. Um, long as everything is um, not of like explicit, I have to put an age restriction and all that other kind of stuff on there because I don't want to have to go through all of that. Other than that, please go on there. Please email me. Please, if you got my number, you can text me. Or you can call me and say, hey, this is what I'm, you know, I need this to go. This is what we got going on. And this is what I need. I need some help with putting it out there to let other people know. Uh, what is happening what is going on so please don't be afraid of that please like share and follow um please like share and follow those those pages that i told you about also um y'all please be careful about this coronavirus um as i was coming in i was seeing a billboard that said that the nba is on temporary they're temporarily stopping the season for now um, so this is getting really, really, I'm not saying it hasn't been serious, but the NBA, I know it's a lot of events that has been canceled because of this situation, this coronavirus, still stuff we've been knowing, washing your hands, being careful of, of um, keeping everything clean and uh, being careful of how we touching and all this other kind of stuff. Let's make sure that we're watching out 
for those type of things, keeping our children's hands clean. I'm not saying we can't get away from, you know, dirt or whatever, but this is something that if, if the NBA is stopping it, then I've also heard that they stopping cruises for the next six months. So if they're stopping all this stuff, this is getting really, really serious. So let's make sure that we just keeping regular house cleaning stuff that we already know, keeping our hands washed. They say wash your hands for 20 seconds or sing the happy birthday song twice. Get up under your nails, wash between your fingers. If you got the wash, I'm, my, my daughter, when she was first born, she was premature. So we had to um, wash our arms up until our elbows, uh, wash our hands up until our elbows before we can go and see her because she was in the NICU. So if you got the wash up until your elbows to make sure and make sure that you being protective of everything, don't go overboard to where you can't live your life and you're just afraid of you know, a whole lot of stuff, but just be careful um, and take it serious. Don't forget that people are still out here trying to take people. Don't get so caught up behind this coronavirus that you can't pay attention to. They out here still trying to snatch. My supervisor didn't even know. Man, Tamiko had to tell him. He said, they were doing what? I said, yes. So be careful. He said, I didn't even know anything about that. That's a problem. So we told him, make sure you keep up with your with your grandbabies and tell your, your son or whoever to let them know to keep up with if they don't know. Because if you don't know, that means somebody else is not knowing because they ain't told you about it. So be careful when you're going in and out the stores. Don't think it won't happen in your neighborhood. Don't think it won't happen in your area. It ain't just happening over on the south side. It's happening north side, the east side, the west side. It's happening all over. So just be careful. Don't get so caught up in everything else. What the focus, the big thing is, the election, with who's going to be president next, along with the coronavirus. And we forget right here in our own city that they're still trying to take our kids, our girls. Um, you see people being posted all the time and... Um, that they're missing or whatever. So just be careful about that kind of stuff. Keep praying, y'all. You know we need the prayers. We it ain't never not like we didn't need it, but we know you know we really really need to be careful about um, a whole lot of stuff. But keep praying, keep on doing what you've been doing. But don't, don't lose yourself for life in in this situation of everything that's going on. Hey, lady, how are you guys today? Don't lose yourself or life in the situation on stuff that's going on in our area, in our neighborhood. They are still taking people. They are still taking children. They're still taking women. They're still doing this stuff. The coronavirus just is overshadowing that because as soon as you watch, you open up your eyes in the morning. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you before I put my foot on it. Thank you, Lord. But as that's the first thing that's on the news and it's at the bottom or it's on the weather channel and it's it's all over so and everybody is scared they hear somebody sneeze everybody's just looking or you hear somebody cough everybody's looking just be careful about everything that is going on going on around you being careful with your children being careful with everybody this stuff out here is serious that's why i said it's petty stuff and nobody have time for going back and forth with somebody about little bitty stuff you don't have time for that this stuff out here is serious people are dealing with depression people don't even know where their next meal is going to come from people don't even know where they gonna sleep at people they they couch hopping or whatever you want to call it they doing all this stuff but they're not um but you sitting up here worried about somebody talking about you so what let that stuff go you are better than that you growner than that i'm saying growner you growner than that you got some bigger better things that's going on and you don't have to deal with the petty don't be a part of the messy ministry when you got a click and people call you the messy ministry that's a problem when folks say that, oh, they go to messy crew, they go to messy, they go to messy folks, they go to messy girls. Don't be that person. Don't be a part of that. When they when they see you, you don't. If you leave her, well, that what is that what they gonna be saying about you? When you when you die, they gonna be like, oh, she was a part of the mess. Oh, she that's all they got to say is bad stuff about you. You don't want people to get up there at your funeral and say that's all you did. Don't get up there and lie. But that's what people get. They'll get up there and say they wasn't. They was this and they was that. But you, the the messy crew, don't be a part of that. Let that stuff go. Don't have that name, that title labeled to you. Your name being a part of that title. If you got something, be like, oh Lord, yeah, she love the Lord. Oh yeah, she's really good. She's very sweet. She's really nice. You you want some nice stuff to be said about you. You don't want people to be saying, oh Lord, they don't got together. They talking about somebody. They being messy. They doing. You don't want to be a part of that. You're better than that. You got some good stuff going on for you. Don't let these folks or somebody else draw you into some stuff that you don't even need to be a part of. That you shouldn't even have attached to you you better you are better you are greater you incredible you ain't better than the lord but you know just saying that you 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 keep your hey cousin how are you guys day you're better than that you got some, some some great things going for you but you allowing some mess you want to be a part of the messy ministry i don't know i don't understand why folks want to be a part of the messy ministry messy ministry don't get where does that get you Cause you want to be in the know that's the people that have the, the, the most friends because you messy 
you got the most people that want to be up under you and around you because you got the most you got you got all this mess going on. Um, that's what I'm saying. It's too much going on to be worried about mess. And you know, folks is they they are very adamant about I'ma get you, I'ma get you, I'ma do this to you, and I'ma do that to you. You just like really? Why why? Why? Does it matter? You got folks out here that has they are sick. And this is before the coronavirus came up. These people are sick. Like they're going through some stuff. They're depressed. They don't even know. They don't even have a job. They don't even know how they're going to pay their bills or take care of their family. And you out here, um, love you too, cousin. You out here with all this foolishness that you got going on because you you petty. You just like to keep mess going on. You like to be a part of the mess in ministry. Okay. Don't let you don't let that be you. Don't let folks say that's what's attached to your name is the mess in ministry because you got, you better than that. I promise you, you are. But you got to find that within. You so used to being a part of mess that you don't know how to overcome it or step away from it because you so used to being a part of it. Don't be a part of the mess in ministry. I'm telling you, that's not nothing good. That's not a good. That's not a good look. That's not a good thing. You don't want folks to say every time they see you, oh Lord, here they go. They finna be messy. That's the first thing they say. They got mess attached to your name. No, boo. No, I mean. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna be a part of that. You don't have to always have something to say. You got to be the one. Oh, I bet. Oh, and you grabbing Earl this here. I don't even want to talk about the grabbing Earl. I'm just saying. <laughs> People grabbing Earl and they just trying to try, um I'm just saying, y'all, don't be a part of that. Don't let yourself get get pulled down into that foolishness because it's not good. And you don't want people to have that to say about you because you know, you know when folks start putting you in that, you don't, that doesn't change. They keep on being the 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 um that keep that stays at your name. Once they start saying that, remove yourself from them people. Let them child. Don't be a part of that mess. The folks that always got something, you got to always be a part of some type of foolishness that's going on. Come on now, we better than that. We are definitely better than that. God got some great things for us, and we don't want to accept it because we love, we comfortable. We comfortable. We are so comfortable in what we doing. We so comfortable in what how how things are, and we are right with it. Don't be comfortable in no foolishness now. We got some good stuff going, and you want to be comfortable in some mess. Listen, sorry, I was looking for something. <laughs> You want to be a part of some mess. He's greater. Listen. Okay. Guess what I was looking for? I didn't find. Hey, how are you guys today? But anyway, as I was stating though, don't be a part of that. God got some better things in store for you, but you got to be willing to accept the things that he has for you and be ready to open up your hands and do it. Try to do it. I told y'all a while back, do a reflection of your life and uh, find out where, why you feel like you at a spot where you shouldn't be. Why you still at the same spot or you don't went down lower. Reevaluate your life and see where you went wrong. I told you if you have, that means you have to be the bigger person and go to somebody or some people to ask for forgiveness or to just say some things to get off your chest to where it releases some things off of you to where you can move on do that sometimes you have to be the bigger person it's okay go to that person those people fix those problems and then you see how god is working things out for you but don't think that's just it i'm saying that could be a possibility if you're doing something you know what you're supposed to be doing you know what god called you to do and you're not doing it it's on the back burner it's at the bottom of your feet you don't put it to the side and you, you have not seen, he, you know what your job is supposed to be doing when you're working for the Lord. If you're not paying your tithing, you're not giving no offering, you're not being on, you not being at church, period. You're not giving him none of your time. You're not taking care of the things you're supposed to be taking care of when it comes down to him. You have a talent, but you won't let, you won't use it at the church. You're taking it away. You, you're using it somewhere else, but you're not using it at the church. Oh, okay. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> But what I'm I'm just saying, don't 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 be um don't 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 miss out these blessings that God got for you because you're not um or because you want to do the things that you want to do and you think he's supposed to still bless you. 
but you can't do anything for him don't don't i'm just saying i'm just saying that he he wants you to, to do better he needs you to do better you got to do better like i said before there are some things that's going on in this world that is happening that is so serious and that's the stuff that we we overlook because we're so caught up in what somebody else is gonna say or think but when when the push comes to shove where that person gonna be when god when you when you're being you you don't die and you don't win where you going do you know where you going and if you don't i thought i had pockets <laughs> sorry and if you don't know where you're going, that's where you need to reevaluate yourself and say, Lord, I know I need to do better. I know I need to treat these people better. I know I need to do better with myself. Work on you. You can't help nobody else and you toe up. You can't assist nobody else and you don't know what you're doing. How can you help somebody else and you ain't got yourself together? We got all the answers for everybody else beside ourselves. We can fix everybody else's problems, but we can't fix our own. That's a problem. I'm just saying. That's a problem. You can fix everybody else's problem, but you can't fix your own. That means you need to fix you first. How you gonna love somebody and you don't love you? No, sir. <laughs> I have to call you back. Um, how can you fix? How can you love somebody else and you can't? You can don't love you. You got to love you first. Love you first before you can put yourself in a relationship. You have to love you first before you can love somebody else. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm supposed to try to love, oh, I love you, but you don't even care about your own self enough to do some things that's to better yourself. You tow up, but you're trying to bring in a relationship. So the whole relationship going to be tow up because you don't love you. Sometimes you got to be by yourself to learn yourself, to know what yourself needs to do and who you need to be with. We don't want that. But we want to just have in a relationship. Like, have you fixed you? You know your attitude bad. How you going to be with somebody and your attitude is tow up? about no one somebody because i don't know i'm just trying to help us because we love to jump out of one relationship into another and that really it, it you don't know you thinking it's something it's something of somebody else and most of the time it's you because you don't know how to love you you don't know how to be with yourself you don't know how to take time out for yourself don't pull yourself into somebody else because some, somebody want to love you too but they can't because you you still got some hang-ups You still got some stuff going on that you need to let go and release. But you can't help them because you told up. Just saying. Just trying to trying to help somebody that they may not know why your relationships end so quickly. Why the person, you have to get yourself together. Okay, I'm just saying. Hold on, yeah. I'm gonna have to get my, I gotta have my badge, yeah. I'll get my push to the end of my crib. Oh. That's sitting right here. I'm tripping. y'all go because but I want y'all to because I'm still getting phone calls and or whatever so um but I do want y'all to know that let's just remember these things that I say hey go to the back the beginning of this video go back to the the beginning and listen to um the beginning or whatever um also don't forget to like share and follow the podcast also like share and follow the um on facebook for those that are on the podcast please do those things good morning how are y'all good please do that remember to have a great day today is going to be amazing don't change that 
keep being that beautiful you, that handsome you, that pretty you. Keep being that wonderful person that you've been doing. Don't let nobody or nothing change that. You are awesome. You are lovely. You're, you're great. Don't forget those things. Hold your head up high. Keep on pushing forward. Keep on loving God. Remember, God loves you. I love you. Good morning. All right, how about you? Good. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Good morning. Have a great day.